enter the room, you see several mantis spirits flickering in and out. They seem greatly agitated. I sense a light in your heart. Is this so? We would help you then, Lightbringer, but we are the barest of memories. We came here to find a weapon to use against the Shadow Queen, but her minion, Papa Jacobo, consumed us. The door to the upper chamber is locked, but the key is hidden in this room. Take it and blast Papa Jacobo to a memory. and living in shadow. Where do I begin? I'll cut your life into pieces.
realize I was spread too thin. Celestial Phoenix, she's long destroyed. All that is left is this petrified egg. You find the egg that Papa Jacobo mentioned. It certainly seems petrified. There's no other signs of a living phoenix. You hope Amelia Stardust can use this egg somehow. Your phoenix was gone? That is dire news. But let me see this egg you speak of. I think, if I'm right, all is far from lost. Place the rekindled star stuff there, at the center point. Now lay the egg in the central hollow with the star stuff, and let us see how well the spiral remembers. The egg reveals a being of nearly pure starlight and starfire. The Celestial Phoenix is magnificent. She screams at the dark sky and spreads her wings. The star stuff you've restored launches itself up into the heavens. As the star stuff soars up and up, you hear a faint melody. A ten ten abulation of the heavens growing louder and louder. Radiance is reborn! By the spiral, wizard! Look at what you've done! A castle in the stars! I could not be prouder of you, kind wizard. You've managed to restore another degree of light to this land. Before you travel to the heart of Morgant's power, you must explore the celestial castle, Radiance Reborn. Learn what you can to arm yourself for the war with shadow that lies ahead of you. Morgant's fury grows with each step you take. The Celestial Phoenix will take you up to the Star Castle, where Amelia Stardust is waiting for you. Be safe, wizard. Welcome, Spellbinder, Wizard, Lightbringer. Welcome to Radiance Reborn. I was here when the Arachna brought a young woman filled with promise and potential to the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment. Although the Burrowers and Arachna had a history of wars, the Astral Shrines were neutral ground, and things were calm then. But Morganth could not grasp the grace of our magic. She needed something solid to hold, not ephemeral like starlight. The subtle nature of the stars incensed her, and though she was not capable of learning it, she was strong enough to destroy it. Go speak to the celestial powers that you have restored. Learn what you can from them, then find me here. <laughs> 